Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Dining Cube, and in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how you can use Tabular Editor to create measures in your data model in Power BI Desktop. Okay, so the July 2020 release opened up a whole new realm for us in Power BI. It introduced external tools, and so now we can use things like the ALM Toolkit, Back Studio, Tabular Editor, and in your own custom built external tools to do things with our model in Power BI Desktop. Um, and so Adam did a video on this. If you haven't watched the video, you should go check out the video, okay? But in this video, I just wanna show you how you can use it to create your own measures, okay? Enough of all this talking, you guys know all I like to do. Let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so let's say you've created this model and you wanna add some additional measures. You can absolutely do that right here in Power BI Desktop, but I just wanna show you how you can do it in Tabular Editor. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have the July 2020 release. Once you have that, you'll see external tools. You need to go and download these tools if you don't need it, if you don't have them. The latest versions should work. I'm focusing on Tabular Editor today. So go ahead and click Tabular Editor. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna open the Tabular Editor already connected to your model, all right? This is great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm in a expand my table see it's already connected if i expand my table i'll see my tables here and in this video i'm going to show you how to create measures if you right click you can create a measure but i don't want to do this because as you can see i like folders i like to group my things in folders in my model and so if i expand internet sales you'll see my metrics folder my dates folder and my columns folder if i right click on metrics and say create measure Look at there, right there, it puts it in that display folder. That's an advantage because in Power BI Desktop, you have to create it, then go specify the folder, but that's okay, right? You can do it right here in the Tabular Editor. Then I'm gonna give this guy a name, you give it a name. You can name it in a couple of places, so you can right click and rename it here, or you can go in the Properties window and name it. Then all you gotta do is write your DAX. So I'm gonna go ahead and write my DAX, boom, just like that. Look at this little guy right here. The DAX format, formatter is built in. You get two options, the long line or the short line. You guys know how Marco and Alberto say it's not DAX unless it's formatted. So let's format this up, okay? So I'm gonna choose short line. Uh, Patrick, it's not formatted. Well, it's not formatted because I have a syntax error. I'm gonna go ahead and close my parentheses. I forgot my parentheses. Now I'm gonna go ahead and choose short line. Formats it up for me really nice and i'm just going to click save you can click save here or you can go file and click save here i'm going to go ahead and click save when i do click save watch my field list in my desktop so go ahead and click save does some work does some work boom there's my measure all right there's my measure let's minimize this i'm going to copy this card i want to show you one more thing copy my little card here open up the visualization pane and drop it and boom, it works, right? It's just there. If I head back over to Tabular Editor, I can format it, I can set a format string, I can do lots of other things right in this video, <laughs> right in the right in Tabular Editor and publish it back to the desktop file in this video. Of course it's in this video. All right, what do you guys think? Are you using Tabular Editor? Have you checked out this new external tools feature? I'd love to know. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. It's your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.